Alrighty, so today we are getting down to basics. We're, our oils are at 88, and our lye water is at, let's see, about 92. So today we're just going to do a basic two color recipe. We're just going to do a drop swirl and we're going to be using a fragrance oil that I know accelerates, especially after or over a hundred degrees and that's why we're soaping cooler. When you soap cooler less than a hundred degrees, it helps with acceleration. So even um, if you have a fragrance that is known to accelerate sometimes soaping at lower temperatures can help you out that goes along with soaping with the recipe that has more liquid oils than solid oils all right so we put the lye water down the shaft of our stick blender to try and minimize how many air bubbles are introduced into our batter otherwise we're going to end up with air bubbles in our soap Logged it in. What also helps is not going to a really thick trace. It gives you a little bit of extra time to move with the fragrance. So it's always a good idea to read up on the fragrance oil that you are going to use. Read up on if it discolors, if it accelerates, or any other things that it may do. You want to know all this before you start making your soap. If you can prepare for some of those things ahead of time, it will help. pretty much fully emulsified, barely at a light trace. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is the stick blender is your friend when you're incorporating your oils and your lye water or whatever other mixture you're going to use. But the stick blender is not your friend necessarily when it comes to incorporating your fragrance or your color because what it does is it further thickens up your batter and takes you to trace. And when you need time, you don't want to do that. So I don't do anything fancy with this because I know it accelerates. But I do split my batch off because I do try and not do a one-tone soap with this. I do like to do a, a two-tone soap. So for the smaller part, I've already mixed my titanium dioxide with some oils I had taken out of my batch here that I had melted. Now, you can melt all your oils together and take the oil needed for your colorants from that. Or when you measure one of your liquid oils like sweet almond or rice bran or olive oil, you can just deduct that from your whole batch recipe. But remember, you don't want to be adding any extra oils because then what you're doing is you're changing your super fat. And if you want to stay true to your recipe, you don't want to be changing your super fat and not knowing what it is. Okay, just see we're still fairly liquid here just by stirring in our color. And then I'm going to stir in my main color, which is going to be this almost like a baby blue but not quite. We're going to stir that in here. And you see by hand stirring you give yourself more time to work. 
because you don't know at what point that fragrance is going to accelerate. Now it says greater than 100 degrees, but it very well does it below 100 degrees as well. I'm just giving us time. Okay, so you see we're still fluid. Barely, barely at a light trace. So I am going to add just a touch of fragrance to my white batch. Now this fragrance does discolor an ivory color and accelerates over 100 degrees. You can see it did thicken up just a little bit and that wasn't very much. Alright, and then we're going to hand stir this one in. And I've got my mold ready to throw up here. It's already lined with my silicone liner. So I'm ready to work quickly. Okay. For this, I'm just going to do a simple drop swirl. Nothing fancy. So see it stayed fairly liquid and that's because of the precautions we've taken. And then I just do a drop swirl in there. I don't know if you can see but it's thicker. It's not an emulsified state but it is not quite a, a trace either. So. Since we still have a little time to work, I'm just going to swirl the top of it to give it a little bit of a design so it's not a plain Jane one color. And I just do figure eights for that. Okay. Alrighty. So. That's how you manage a fragrance that you know is going to misbehave. To, to further manage a fragrance, you can, like I said, up your soft oils, increase your olive oil, your sweet almond, your rice brain oil, decrease your hard oils like your coconut, your palm, your, your butters like your shea, your mango, things like that. Soap cool, hand stir, give yourself time to work. Okay, so those are just my tips for the day. Just some basic soaping tips for all you new soapers out there. And I hope you have a have a good one and en enjoy your soaping. Alright everyone, so we're back on the next day. And here is the soap we made yesterday. So those are just the figure eight swirls I did. I've already pulled out my silicone liner out of my five pound wood mold. And I just pull the nail down the side and make sure nothing's sticking. If anything happens to be sticking because you used a lot more soft oils, you can either put it in the freezer or just leave it in the mold another day. I do like to pull the silicone away as much as I can without tearing the soap to allow the air to get in to help dry out the soap. So as you can see, we're fairly, we're fairly smooth and it's a nice firm bar so it's going to come out really easily. And this was just the simple drop swirl we did for those fragrances we like to use but misbehave. Nothing fancy. This is a, a men's soap I do anyway so I don't get all fancy girly or anything. 
this one I try and keep simple. It's just a simple drop swirl. Now, if we had had a looser batch, when I say looser, I mean more liquid, we would have been able to, um, it would have been a lot thinner and you would have had a lot more swirls, deeper and different. You'll see that on like my love spell video. Um, you can see how the swirls are different, but so just something simple for the guys. But it just goes to show that you can do, you can still do more than just a one color soap with a fragrance that is gonna misbehave. But if you account for that misbehavior, it does give you something to work with. So that's just a simple, simple drop swirl. All right? Mmm, smells like a, nice clean man in my house. <laughs> so that's the cut of the soap. And if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be doing at least one a week. And you can go out and check my other videos. Alright, have a great soapy day. Bye.